colleague of mine worked at the Art Institute of Chicago and was part of a study of one of Renoir's paintings um, that had undergone significant fading. And so that was the inspiration for me to develop a class that would allow chemistry majors to look at art and study the chemical changes in art, but then also the impact that, that has on how people interpret art and view art down the, uh, in the future. Okay, so students took part in two different projects. One was a group project that was at the beginning of the course. So students made paint um, that contained a fugitive dye, a dye that was susceptible to fading, and then they exposed it to UV light and me made measurements to um, track the rate of fading of that particular dye. The larger project they worked on was an independent project where they studied um, a painting that I had created. Students um, had to tell me everything they could about the paintings. Paintings are very complex in structure, so it was a very very intensive uh, project for the students. They got a lot out of it. The students who took the course, most of them are chemistry or are um, biochemistry uh, majors. Um, this class has already got them starting to look at things in their in their world um, a little bit differently. Those tours to MIA um, were really instrumental in that um, and making them uh, think more beyond just their discipline. Um, uh, but they were able to do that through uh, a language that was familiar to them through, uh, through their chemical language. I think the biggest takeaway was uh, a moment that I had in the museum after our third tour. There was a student who uh, said that had she not gone through the museum three times and worked with three different tour guides and um, been, been forced to stand in front of a painting for 10 minutes and really break it down and try to understand what was in that, she, she wouldn't have realized how much is being said through art. Um, we get, she said, we get bombarded by images so much and we're really good at uh, filtering through them and, and getting rid of all that noise and how important it is to take the time to actually sit and reflect. Um, and I think that's going to have a really big impact on her and her peers moving forward um, in all aspects of their life. So I was really excited to see that they came out of it because that wasn't something I expected to happen. Um, bringing in other experts was really great for, for me to learn and for also for the students to see that what they were studying, there are actually people doing this out, uh, out there and that they were taking part in something that was, had real world application. Mm -hmm.